Our next example looks like this. So we have x plus 2 over 4 minus uh, x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 2. So as you can see, the game's changed a little bit. Uh, again, in looking at this problem and trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, I would look at this and say, man, I don't like the fact there are multiple variables. Uh, the other thing I don't like in this problem is there are fractions. Well, again, uh, in the past, what we have done is we have been adding and subtracting fractions. Well, this is different. Okay, this is not an expression, it's an equation. So again, we're going to use different rules. And what we do in a problem like this is we just get rid of what we don't like, which is the fractions. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what our least common denominator is. So here the denominator is 4, 3, and of course that has a denominator of 1. So the common denominator between those three things will be 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my fractions. And to do this, I'm going to multiply each term in my equation by my common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 12. I'm going to multiply this by 12. And I'm going to multiply this by 12. Notice I multiply everything by my common denominator. I'm not selective. I can't just multiply this and this by 12 because that's not what you do with an equation. If you multiply or divide, you do it to everything. My goal of doing this is to get rid of the fractions. Notice it's not 12 over 12. Notice I'm not trying to get a common denominator. I want to get rid of the fraction. And you'll see as we go through this, it's really 12 over 1, how this is going to help us out in terms of our problem. We have learned how to multiply expressions before. So we're going to try to do that. And we would say, well, I'm going to multiply these. Before I multiply, I'm going to simplify. Well, we made it a common denominator so that it will cancel. So when I multiply, uh, this now I will get 3, parentheses x plus 2, over 1. Well, over 1, I don't need to write the fraction there. So here, as you can see, we're going to try to get rid of it. Common mistake here is this little bad boy right here. So when I distribute, I'm actually going to distribute with a negative 4. So I'll say negative 4, parentheses x minus 1. And over here, I get a nice little 24. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see, our problem looks a little bit easier on the eyes. We have got rid of our fractions. So what we're going to do now is solve. Uh, I've got multiple variables. They're, luckily, they're on the same side, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute. I'll get 3x plus 6, then minus 4x plus 4. Again, a common mistake is to ignore that negative sign, only change one term, but you do need to distribute that negative 4 to both those. Or else you get your problem wrong. Uh, when I tidy up a little bit, I'm going to combine like terms. So negative x plus 10 is equal to 24. And I'll go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. When I do that, I'll get negative x to be equal to 14. Therefore, x is equal to negative 14. Now, even though the problems get a little bit more difficult, you can always check your answer by plugging it in. And hopefully you'll see that you get the right one.